Okay, this is a super quick video to show you how to do a PSP soft mod. You need to make sure that your PSP is on firmware 6.60, uh, otherwise your soft mod won't work. This is on 6.60. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's as easy a process as this is. But as you can see there, it's on 6.60. Don't worry about my MAC address. I'm not concerned about anyone else knowing that. If you want to know it, then go ahead. You're more than welcome to. Uh, so the files you need are in the description, so just download them. Plug your PSP into your computer. I'm using a Mac here, but it'll work the same on the PC. I'm assuming Linux as well. I've not had any experience with Linux though. Uh, simple as open up the file, uh, whichever, whatever pops up. In my instance, it's come up as no name because I've got not. I've not got a name on the PSP um, memory card. Go to the PSP folder, then go to the game folder, and then in the game folder, you need to drag the two individual folders that are in the PSP folder called Fast Recovery and Pro Update. Uh, these things I've already got in here are various things that I've had on my PSP for a long time. Uh, this might be empty or it might be full of saved games. Um, don't worry about it, just throw these two in. And there you go. So on here already I've got like a SNES emulator and a Mega Drive, or is it Mega Drive emulator, Master System, Game Boy, uh, NES, and games of Doom and stuff like that. Oh, an N64 emulator which doesn't really work very well. But anyway, um, so they're in. Fast recovery and pro update are in on the PSP now. Now all I need to do is come out of this USB mode. Um, I'm gonna turn the machine off. That's my cat just running up the back side of my chair. Turn the PSP off and then turn the PSP back on. And then we go down to memory stick on game and go to pro uh, PSP firmware update run the software which will bring you up oops will bring you up this little menu here which kind of looks like a DOS prompt just there so it says X launch custom firmware so run that uh, it'll install it, then press X again to start the custom firmware. <coughs> Excuse me, and that'll run. If the system does a full system reset, uh, restart, or anything like that, you'll need to run that software again. Um, if you turn the PSP on to standby, you don't need to run it again; it'll still run. Um, so here we go. We'll go into, let's say, a Mega Drive emulator. Open this up, and it'll work. It'll work. If you don't run the PSP. Uh, updated before this, it'll just come up with a um, corrupt uh, corrupt file um, warning. It won't give you any option to play it. So there you go. Pretty much uh, that is as easy as easiest pie. The PSP is literally the easiest console there is to to hack. There's nothing I've, I've seen that's easier. Um, I'm not going to show you how to put emulators on here, um, but basically you put them in the same folder. In fact, I'll, I'll show you how I've got it all laid out. Let me just quit out of this and put it back on the USB mode so you can actually see how it's got how it's all laid out. USB connection. It's back on the computer. Back into the folder. I'm hoping it's actually zoomed in. So back into the PSP folder, into the game folder. So I've got an N64 emulator there, a Master System and uh, Game Boy, NES and Mega Drive. So for the Mega Drive one, for example, you basically download the, the ROM, which will come in the folder, which will be this folder, Pico Drive, which is the one I'm using. Throw it in on into the PSP on this folder game. Um, I've put all my ROMs in a ROMs folder, Just bang it in that, and it'll work. Piece of piss. As long as you run the, the updater before you run anything else on the PSP, you'll be fine, that'll work. And it's honestly as easy as that. Thank you very much.